discuss today more on like you know how hu receipt label is the real time one just i want to bring some example for that and also how to do some announcements and that how to change the forms and all just i will go through some and also i will explain some rise of object you know um what is mean of rise of object and uh, how we can announce uh, is a forms and all okay and uh, we discussed like you know last time a lot of ppf actions how it triggers as you know that ppf is not only printing even communication also it communicates to the s4 system also for all the receipt time and as well as the goods issue time you have seen some example like you know what is application action profile in terms of the uh, like stock changes don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos also from f1 to f2 also it changes the good or goods receipt also um, the communication will happen between the ewm system to s4 system okay during inbound activities two time the communication will happen from ewm to s4 system regarding this stock okay when you as soon as you perform unloading that means goods receipt happens that means the communication will happen from ewm to the s4 through the ppf action only that is called scdl delivery and action definition is msg prd pnd and action profile is pda underscore 01 okay then as soon as you confirm from uh, f1 stock to f2 stock then that is a triple 1d I mean, or like you know, our our case is two seventy one D, right? Anything receiving and dock storage location, then it's moving to two seventy one S because you are changing the stock type from F one to F two. That means the storage location is changing. Even during that time, the PPF action triggers and it communicates back to the S four system saying that the stock is moved from F one to F two. that means indirectly the stock is moved from uh, uh, 271d to 271s that is the like you know two times it happens ppf one is a goods receipt time and is the changing the stock and changing the storage location in a s4 size storage location but when you talk about ewm is the stock type f1 to f2 okay in intro somebody asked just you need to remember this thing. and this is a typical we have seen in post processing spcd cadm where we see all the applications and we if you take any warehouse management engine where we want to see more detailed you can always see that okay just i can put some here. okay so this is the hu related as i said warehouse management and it covers more on the hu we are going to uh, do today is the hu how to set up the hu um, handling unit labels okay and if you need a, a wme under that you need to find action profile as a hu and action definition is the hu label okay under that you know method method is the uh, is a driving because all the uh, through the method only it triggers whatever the action is going to happen okay any announcements you want to do through the method only we have to do the announcement okay and um, as you know that once you understand this you know application action profile and action definition and um, so on so then you need to set up a some certain conditions okay certain uh, you know determination procedure where this hu should be triggered right at the end of the day you you know that what is the action action, action application action action profile and action definition so method but how do i set up where should be triggered this one so then you should know that how to determine the procedure where should I assign this one that is called the uh, printing concepts that's where we do we, we identify what basis it's going to trigger or whether what kind of parameters condition tables in access sequence all the determination procedure so there we we need to do that once we do that one how system knows that when it is supposed to trigger whether manually triggering or automatic triggering so all these things should happen through the uh, condition records okay that is the condition record should be the master data it should be maintained is not a is not a part of config so you can set up how many condition records how you want it okay so for example now uh, this is for the printing so we should maintain condition records for the printing okay 
log is okay just for the visual purpose for example and also we need to maintain certain uh, parameters okay maintain very specific parameters very specific parameters means more on the printing related spool all the things you know how we want to print and all right? the spool settings also okay and this is the warehouse request we have already seen we have done it this one okay this is the what we have done it first time and um, yeah automatic creation of the warehouse task we have done it and um, we tested everything as we had, as we discussed last time we right so you need to know that you know um, we can also run the um, selection report even uh, spp sppfp is a transaction where we can run the selection report it's so like you know uh, for example you want to run for all the uh, inbound deliveries you want to create a warehouse task then you can run it so as a maybe you can run or you can set up a bad job as well so that's also possible instead of doing uh, one by one you can always run it everything into um, selection report okay this is the example i said like you know how we can say technical ways how we can uh, modify all these things okay so this is the way we can program we can always uh, modify program and you know to meet our business demands okay so we'll go through for the hu1 and this is for the uh, various task where we have done it how to recognize action profile where we where we check the action profile for the uh this is a document related one okay creation of warehouse tasks okay this is the uh, config we discussed last time okay see as i said once we set up certain conditions it should be assigned them right somewhere should be determined that's what i said it should be determined what is action definition what is their warehouse number whether he, he, without warehouse number also it works because it works for every warehouse if you don't mention it okay uh, you have if you have your own specific requirement definitely you can do that okay but if you don't is in a, if you don't assign then it applicable for all the warehouses and what is the procedure where you how you want to trigger document category and all this this is what we have done it so at the end of the day as i said we need to maintain okay uh, condition records important so the condition records what basis if you want to create a warehouse task whether not started not started or like unloading started and but not put away started so like you know several ways you can you can always um, um, maintain condition records okay at the moment we set it just a condition condition uh, type and action definition and the document type and uh, goods moment okay G based on the goods moment we have we have we have we have requested to create a warehouse task automatically okay okay let's move on to the next one is the uh, uh any doubt uh, on last sessions do you want to discuss before moving to the uh configuring is now printing of handling unit labels so we can he can hear now yeah, yes we can hear yeah any doubt last session okay before moving to configuration of don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos the handling unit labels no i i don't have any doubt yeah excellent okay see next one is whatever last time we discussed more on the um, document related one okay that is a creation of auto creation of the warehouse task and ways we have not it but we will discuss out about that now how we want to configure printing of the labels okay the labels may be uh, you may you may want automatic printing of warehouse orders during order creation time and you may wanted a manual triggering printing of handling units like you know handling units means shipping labels content list okay from anywhere in that matter from the unloading work center even the consolidation even if is outbound time you may do at the uh, packing work center i mean uh, when you do packing you need a ship hu label as well and you may need uh, um, a sort hu label as well sometimes when you pick it we want to sort it into uh, sort work center so so you can set up the concept remain same you know the concept remain same the sip hu but only thing of forms will be different because the form how you maintain for inbound outbound is a different forms that means the major 
the labeling means you understand that okay the major task behind is the forms okay smart forms how do you do the smart forms okay that is a where is a lot of announcements going to happen okay form is a you know that the rise up object is a any announcement